Hey guys and welcome back. So in this part we're going to go ahead and carry on creating this inside bit of Wally. Hopefully we'll get to um, the bit to finish the door as well. So we're going to start off with this piece, this edge. We're just going to go ahead and um, move it down so it's straight. And I think we're going to go ahead and snap the height to this wet, like so. We're going to do the same thing with this word here. And snap it to the height of this one. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and grab this edge and extrude out. And again, zero to offset. Hit W and I'm going to go ahead and snap it to here. And then go to vertex mode, select them two merge them together okay so it's looking pretty good now and now all we're gonna do is actually select this whole loop not the whole loop but we're gonna select all of these edges hopefully i'm selecting the right ones so, and we're going to extrude this whole thing backwards. Okay, so you can go ahead and hit extrude and it will go crazy. We're going to go ahead and turn down the offset. And I'm just going to go ahead and start dragging this back. Like so. And probably going to drag it to about here. I'm going to snap it to this wet. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit extrude again, as you run the offset. And actually, we can go ahead and drag it all the way to this wet. Um, we're probably going to do a little bit further. Well, let me think about this. Um, we can probably pull it back all the way to this one. And um, for now, we're going to go ahead and just select these vertices at the end and move them down. Hopefully, I selected all of them. Like so. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to select this edge and we're going to start extruding this one downwards. So I'm just going to again turn on the offset. So it goes back to where it should be. And I'm just going to drag it to about there. Mm, that should be about right. Hit extrude again. Turn down the offset. I'm going to click this icon so I can extrude it downwards like so. And I'm going to snap this extrude to this vertex and hit extrude again offset zero hit w and drag it here and then now we can go ahead and use our merge vertex tool if i find it there we go and we're going to merge this to that this to that and now all we gotta do is fill in this um fill in this hole that we have here but before that we're going to actually select this edge and snap it to the height of this and drag it back a little bit and I'm going to drag this one back to this one like so okay and now this way you can just go ahead and select this edge and we're going to start extruding this upwards So we're going to extrude one to, oh, if I select this and snap to that one, hit extrude again, snap to this one, if I select the right angle, I'm first going to turn the, down the offset, select that angle, snap it to this, extrude again, offset zero. Hit W, snap it to this. Oh, if 
I select it again. There we go. Dig through it again. Offset zero. Make sure I have that selected. Then drag it up. And we have a tiny bit of an issue. I only just realized that we get a triangle in here. But that is fine. We're going to go ahead and sort it out in just a second. We're going to go ahead and delete this and select this edge hit extrude offset 0 hit W and we're just gonna drag it back a little bit like so to create that then hit extrude again offset 0 and we can go ahead and snap this I mean, just move it roughly to the right place because it will be um, point snap in this anyway. So there we go. And then go to Merge Vertex Tool. There we go. And going to go ahead and snap this there. Snap that one there. And that way now we have a quad up here. So that will be fine. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select this edge, Ooh. and this is getting a bit funky, I'm going to go ahead and select these two and merge them, and just to make sure I'm going to select them too as well, because I think V left off like in the middle of an extrusion last time, so you can go ahead and drag this up. Ooh, actually, I'm being silly. Okay, hit extrude. Turn down the offset to zero. Move it up. Not this one. Come on. I'm just going to scale this bit in. I'm going to drag you up. To about here. And again, scale this in a little bit more. Like so. And now we should be able to just use our merge vertex tool. Snap this point to that, snap this point to that, and this should be looking pretty good. So, what I'm now going to do is actually go ahead and go to mesh cleanup just to check if we messed up anything, and we haven't. So, now we got the inside bit of this completed. We now can go ahead and duplicate this and come out of our isolation mode and then just scale X minus 1. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now we're going to isolate these two and I'm going to go ahead and select both, go to mesh combine and, and just come out of my isolation and go back into it. And then we can go ahead and select all these vertices in the middle. And just go to merge vertex, merge vertices. And it should have merged everything fine. And again, make sure that your merge vertex tolerance is fairly low. So mine is at 0 0.05, okay. And that worked. It's magic. So now we have our lower body blocked out completely, I would say, um, apart from our door. We're obviously going to have this detail in the back that we'll work on, we'll work on that um, later. So we have all this stuff that will go on this back piece. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and work on this door. 
So that's going to be fairly simple. We're going to select it and extrude it. You're going to extrude it out a little bit to about that much. And now we'll play around with this a bit more. But I'm going to click that icon. So extrude it in the world mode to about there. And I'm just checking if we left out any edge loops that we haven't deleted. Or we haven't. We can also go ahead and delete this edge loop. And now I'm just going to go ahead and move it back to zero where it's supposed to be, which is around here. And I've just realized that we kind of deleted um, these edges that kind of give it some detail. Um, so we might want to keep that in there. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to delete that quickly and I'm just going to go ahead and steal these off from here again and I think that was an edge loop down here cool. So I'm just going to quickly select these and go ahead and go to mesh Ooh, actually quickly go ahead and <laughs> duplicate this over and then do this again oh don't need that and go to mesh extract go to object mode select this and drag this out and we can after if we delete Edit, delete all by type history. You can go ahead and delete this. And we're only going to delete this edge loop for now. And now I can go ahead and um, move this back where it should be. But before that, we can go ahead and extrude this again. So extrude. And again, make sure you're clicking that icon so it extrudes properly like so okay so now ooh, just gonna have to go ahead and put this where it's supposed to be so I'm just gonna go into my front view go to modify center pivot Side view, turn X ray on, like so. Hopefully, this is sitting in there quite nicely. If I can get it to line up. That would be nice. Actually, what we can do. There we go. That should be good. We're going to have to just go ahead and move it down a tad. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Well, apart from this bit, this bottom bit. Right, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to, um, if I just look at it properly, I'm still going to have to move this down an inch, like so. So now what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go to freeze the transformations on this and because of the edge loop that I just done this is a little bit off 
So it's just gonna select this loop and just drag it down. I might go ahead and fix this later on. Um, so go to modify, freeze transformations. Or it might be an edit. There we go, freeze transformations. So now if you move it, we can just zero this out and then it will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and select this edge loop. Actually, you're going to move this out a bit. Like so. And we're going to select these back faces. And we're just going to move them out a bit. And then select this and set it back where it should be. Just to make sure that the thickness is correct. And it still needs a tiny bit. Ooh, still needs a tiny bit more thickness. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these again and just move them back a tiny bit more. And then zero this out. And now we got a door. So what we're also going to do while I'm here is we're just going to go ahead and insert this edge loop in the middle. If I just go into my front, just temporarily, like so. And I'm just going to snap it to this grid to make sure it's lined up properly. And then we're going to just go ahead, select this object, press insert. And we're just going to go ahead and snap this to that point. And this way, if we just go ahead and rotate this on the X, you can see how this door would um, open and close. Okay, so this is going to be his door, obviously, where he puts his things and the inside bit is all done. So obviously, we still got to move all this bit out, and there's a little bit more detail that's going to go on this. But we're going to do that in the next part so so far looking so good um, in the next part we're going to go ahead and add in a couple of extra details on the front of his body like these lines and then we can have the fun job of adding all these edge loops um, so this will keep his shape once we go ahead and smooth this okay so I'll see you guys in the next part